Valyrian. Valyrian, called the Black Dread, was a dragon of House Targaryen. He was ridden by King Aegon I Targaryen during the conquest, alongside his sister Queen Visenya's Vagar, and his sister Queen Rhaenys's Meraxes. Other known riders of Valyrian were King Maegor I Targaryen, Princess Arya Targaryen and Prince Viserys Targaryen. Valyrian, known as the Black Dread, was the dragon ridden by Aegon the Conqueror during the War of Conquest. He was so large, it was said his shadow could swallow an entire town when he took flight. Valyrian was named after an ancient god of the Valyrian Freehold. He was born in Valyria, and was one of the five dragons Enar Targaryen brought with him when he fled to Dragonstone to survive the doom of Valyria. After the other four of Enar's dragons died, Valyrian became the last creature to have seen the Freehold in its prime. Valyrian was employed by Aegon the Conqueror to burn and half-ruin Harrenhal, which resulted in the extinction of House Hor and the ascension of House Tully as Lord Paramount of the Trident. Upon the climactic battle of the Field of Fire, Valyrian, alongside the dragons of Aegon's sisters, Vagar and Meraxes, participated in the destruction of the largest army ever fielded against them. The outcome of the battle was the extinction of House Gardner and the respective ascensions of House Tyrell and House Lannister as Wardens of the South and the West. Aegon would also deploy Valyrian in burning several castles across Dorne throughout the First Dornish War alongside Visenya and Vagar to avenge the deaths of Rhaenys and Meraxes. Following Aegon's coronation as King of the Undulls, the Roiner, and the First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms, and Protector of the Realm, Valyrian used his fiery breath to melt the swords of his riders' defeated enemies and forge them into the Iron Throne. During the uprising of the Faith Militant, Aegon and Visenya's son, Maegor the Cruel, mounted Valyrian and burned down the September of Remembrance with hundreds of members of the Faith Militant inside. Following the destruction of the Sept, Maegor would replace its ruins with the Dragon Pit to house Valyrian and the other Targaryen dragons. When Maegor's nephew, Prince Aegon Targaryen, attempted to claim the Iron Throne from his uncle, Maegor mounted Valyrian to kill Aegon and his dragon Quicksilver during the battle beneath the god's eye. Years before his accession to the throne, Viserys I Targaryen bonded with and rode Valyrian. Viserys would be the last Targaryen to bond with Valyrian, as the dragon died of old age not long after. Following Valyrian's death, Vagar would grow to rival him in size. Valyrian died of old age in 94 AC during the reign of King Jaehaerys I Targaryen, around 200 years old. In the books. In the A Song of Ice and Fire novels, Valyrian was the last surviving dragon from Valyria. When the Targaryens resettled on Dragonstone to escape the coming doom of Valyria, they took five dragons with them, but four of these later died, leaving only Valyrian. However, the other dragons did leave behind eggs, from which hatched Meraxes and Vagar. Valyrian would have been only about a dozen or so years old when the doom of Valyria occurred, very much still a juvenile. Aegon personally used Valyrian to burn out Harrenhal. Valyrian destroyed the castle all by himself, as the other two dragons were away fighting other campaigns. He then took part in the Field of Fire alongside Vagar and Meraxes. After Aegon I died, Valyrian bonded with his second son Maegor, known as, Maegor the Cruel. His first son Aenys succeeded Aegon upon his death, but Aenys had already bonded to the dragon Quicksilver. Maegor refused to attempt to bond with any dragon in his youth, intentionally waiting until his father died and Valyrian was available for a new rider, feeling that he was worthy of nothing less than riding Valyrian himself. Maegor made extensive use of Valyrian during the 11-year-long Faith Militant Uprising, burning hundreds of members of the Faith Militant at King's Landing. He also participated in the major battle at the Big Fork of the Blackwater, albeit the rebels intentionally attacked during a heavy rainstorm so Valyrian would have difficulty flying. After Maegor's death and the ascension of Jaehaerys I, Valyrian remained riderless for several years, residing alongside a riderless Vagar and the other Targaryen dragons in the yards of Dragonstone while construction of the Dragon Pit continued in King's Landing. When the seat was given over to Queen Rena Targaryen, King Jaehaerys's widowed sister, by the King's order, the dragons became the constant companions of the Queen's daughter Arya Targaryen. Arya had been raised for most of her years in King's Landing, first as the acknowledged heir of King Maegor and then of King Jaehaerys, and she had loved the attention lavished on her as a queen-in-waiting. After her mother had asked for her to be placed in her care, Arya was moved to Dragonstone where she grew miserable with the lack of attention and failed to get on with her mother. After the birth of King Jaehaerys's first children and the failure of a promise from good Queen Alysanne to return the girl to the capital, Arya fled to the yards where she claimed her first dragon, no less a mount that Valyrian himself. The princess and the dragon fled Dragonstone, not to be seen again for a whole year. 
rumors of a beast haunting the hills of Andalos, of a great fire in the disputed lands of Essos and a dragon fighting in the fighting pits of Astapor reached the agents of the Iron Throne in the east, but none were believed by the Red Keep as being Balerion. A year after their disappearance, Balerion and Arya returned to Westeros, landing in the courtyard of the Red Keep one day that would long be remembered. Arya was afflicted with something that neither the Grand Maester nor Septon Barth had ever seen before, a worm-like creature which had been roasting the girl from within. Only plunging her in a bath of freezing water was able to end the creatures, but it didn't save her. As worrying as the creatures had been, something else had terrified the court even more, Balerion, the greatest of the Targaryen dragons, had been wounded. The last time Balerion had faced a beast similar to himself in combat had been Quicksilver at the battle beneath the god's eye, and he had made short work of the smaller dragon. Where Balerion, Arya, and the creatures had come from was never know, but one theory continued to dominate the minds of those who had seen the affliction that had killed the princess and wounded the Black Dread, Septon Barth, King Jaehaerys's hand, wrote an account claiming that the only place such things could have been found was in the smoking ruins of Valyria. Many had believed that Arya had been the one to lead Balerion away, but now the theory had been born that it had been the dragon that had taken the girl away. The Black Dread had been one of the five dragons taken by House Targaryen when they had fled Valyria for Dragonstone, and the only one who had survived to see the conquest. This made Valyrian the only creature to have witnessed Valyria at its height. Barth believed that the dragon had flown back to his homeland, taking the Targaryen princess with him. The creatures, and whatever had attacked Valyrian, were most likely spawns of the sorceries the Valyrians had unleashed in their prime, or creatures born of the doom that had claimed their civilization. Despite their lack of proof regarding Valyrian and Arya's destination, King Jaehaerys and his advisors were sufficiently worried about the aberrations that had killed Arya Targaryen that they forbade any ship that sailed into Valyria from landing in the Seven Kingdoms. Valyrian lived to just over two centuries old. After Arya Targaryen's death, he became the first dragon to be housed in the Dragon Pit, where he remained for most of the Old King's reign. None claimed the Black Dread again until Jaehaerys's grandson, the future King Viserys I. By this time, Valyrian had ceased to grow and was weakened by old age. When Viserys claimed him, he struggled to rise and could only fly around the city before returning to the Dragon Pit. A year later, Valyrian the Black Dread passed of old age, leaving Vagar as the only surviving dragon from the time of Aegon's conquest. Valyrian was the greatest Targaryen dragon who ever lived, the largest since the fall of Valyria. Dragons keep growing for their entire lives, meaning that Valyrian was even larger during the Faith Militant Uprising. Only Vagar ever managed to approach Valyrian in size, but only many years after his death. Vagar was the youngest of the original three Targaryen dragons and therefore was not as large as the others. By the time of the civil war known as the Dance of the Dragons in 130 AC, however, Vagar was approaching 200 years in age, and had become nearly as large as Valyrian during the War of Conquest. During the dance, Vagar's body core was said to be about five times larger than a war horse, meaning that Valyrian was somewhat bigger than this. Valyrian skull was the largest in the collection of 19 dragon skulls that the Targaryens displayed in the Red Keep. Valyrian apparently mated with both Vagar and Meraxes, though the exact lineage of subsequent Targaryen dragons has not yet been directly stated. Valyrian was colored black, hence his sobriquet of, the Black Dread, with red highlights. Generations later, soon after Daenerys's dragons hatch, the resemblance between Drogon to Valyrian makes the Bloodrider Ago say amazingly, there sits Valyrian, come again. Daenerys answers it may be so, but gives him a new name for his new life. Rhaenys Targaryen had a black kitten she named, Valyrian, after the mighty dragon. In homage to Valyrian, Daenerys renames one of the ships Illyrio Mopatis sent her after him. George R. R. Martin stated that if he could ride a dragon, he'd choose Valyrian. If you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later, bye-bye.